Okay, welcome back this time to what we've called our Cooper Road Mini Basement, sort of our R&D basement, where if I gave you a quick look around, not to frighten you, but uh, you can kind of see a variety of projects lined up here. Over here we've got the straight cut gearbox that uh, we're going to put together with this super small bore. And that brings us to today's actual uh, subject, which is the long overdue update on the Super 998. And I started, oh boy, a couple of years ago almost now. This is using an A plus 998. You know, here we try to be uh, we try to be practical and kind of take a look at what's available slash affordable in the real world. This is when we're not building, you know, super duper race engines. Uh, if you follow any of our videos. By the way, thank you. I think we've passed a thousand subscribers on our YouTube channel. You know, I endeavor to make this stuff interesting. Um, I won't I won't get your attention to, to, to waste your time on drivelly items. Uh, hopefully you'll find what we do and the way that we do it interesting. And thanks for following. So the story with this was a doorstop at Mini Mania for many years, probably since... Oh, man, probably since 2006 anyway. Covered with dust, uh, used it as a step. And then, you know, what happens is the 1275s, very difficult to find. Um, <clears throat> even when I was still with Mini Mania, we went a good part of a year without being able to secure any A plus 1275 cores for rebuilding. So the door stops became interesting. Um, I looked into ways of modernizing these to some extent. That's been the goal here. We're not going to make this too long a story. But basically we wanted to hugely overbore these. And these are the 68 millimeter pistons available from our friends in Australia. Uh, Russell Piston. When I say available, hmm, it took me 14 months to get these. So this may not be, again, the, the easiest or the most affordable setup since it's an unusual arrangement. We've offset the cylinders rather hugely. And what we're trying to do is move the combustion chamber uh, into more favorable alignment for a 1275 head. In this case, this is one of the 1316s known as the North American smog head from a 1275 Sprite core. And it's been lightly ported, and, and that's okay. It hasn't been hugely enlarged because this is a small displacement engine. So we've got a cleaned up head. It still has the small valves. Again, you'll see here why that's important. Uh, these are monster sizes compared to what you'd have to do to a small bore head. But let's sneak the camera in here and take a look at where our combustion chambers. You see what we're trying to do here? I'm trying to get the light on the camera to work together. But you can see the intake and exhaust valves in the combustion chamber. We've moved the cylinders so much that you can almost open the exhausts without touching the wall of the cylinder. But it just isn't mathematically possible unless you're going to go to some super exotic machining on the block, in my view. And that just isn't worth it. The goal here is not to, not to spend uh, uh, silly money. Uh, on building a smaller engine, but rather to take a smaller engine with available parts and improve it uh, for use in the real world. This is moderately successful. Luckily, we know how to edit now, but with a camera in hand, I'm going to kind of poke it in here and show you what I've been trying to figure. You can see our... Let's see here. You can see the combustion chamber here for what's the number three cylinder. So I pop the springs off where I can open the exhaust valve. And it is just touching. I mean, like 20 thousandths, maybe 30 thousandths of a notch. And again, when I say a notch, we, we got to be careful. You don't just chop away. You know, here's the 1098 piston. You don't have a whole lot between the upper ring and the top surface of the piston. And you do not want to expose the compression ring to the bore in an area where you've cut a notch. Uh, that's not something we want to do. Again, you can kind of see the relative size here. This is a 40 over 998 or 1098 sized piston. It is a 998 here, a three ring, relatively nice one. But if you take and put the pin holes together, and I'm sorry, this is not the easiest to do with one hand, but what you get is a rather large, you see how much shorter? our 1098 piston due to the higher pin height relative to the beer can shaped 998 unit here, even a performance one. 
So by modernizing this engine, we're moving the rod up essentially in the piston. Um, in this case, moving the piston down in the bore with the shorter stroke 998 crankshaft here. Three inch stroke versus, oh boy, almost three and three eighths on the 1098. Uh, silly, silly length of stroke in my view. Keep it short and try to make the bore as big as possible to modernize it. So that's where we are. Um, we're thinking actually here, the most uh, current plan on this little 998 is to uh, build it fully here using a 1275 head, our moved over cylinders, modified deck, 1275 head gasket, uh, and then use a straight cut gearbox uh, with these bits and pieces here, these components here. And I think I'll steal the 376 gear ratio out of our current green Mini Cooper S and do sort of a back to back comparison as to what's possible with one of these small bores uh, built with some pretty serious modifications. But again, no rocket science. You know, I'll detail what I've done here and it should be relatively straightforward to duplicate. Uh, depending on the results that we get. We'll try to keep this uh, a going concern here as I'm hoping to install this engine and test it in the next eh, month or two and then get it down to our friend Aaron Hagar uh, of the uh, Rat Rod Garage in, uh, in Tahoe City. Uh, he's got a Mark I Mini and we've offered him the chance to thrash this within an inch of its life and see what it'll do in some auto processing and uh, and uh, we'll see what else he can do with it. But he's got a TV show or, or three, so stay tuned uh, and we'll hopefully uh, turn this into a nice story.